hello, happy Summerween, and welcome back to the last game we're going to play today. This is Vladimir Lore's Make Beautiful. Also, this uh, does not, this does not bode well for me. Warning, this game contains scenes of mutilation. Great. That, I mean, I don't know if the last game can counts as having scenes of mutilation, because you get chainsawed, you watch a guy get his legs cut off in pixelated graphics. I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, the, the, this had a fun tagline too. The skin you're born in does not have to be the skin you die in, or something like that. It was something like that. That is an interesting allegory, considering the world we live in these days. It's make beautiful. Oh my God! Really? Do we just decorate a person? Is that what we're doing? Name. Uh uh, da, 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 da. Ah, we'll be Holly. Why not? I'm always Holly. Let's be Holly. Female. Nah, no, definitely that. Color. You can be whatever color you want. Uh, that's usually pretty good. I like red. I like bright red. Skin. Uh, is it just a person simulator? Can you just be whatever you want? Uh, is that yeah, we can look at our person we can zoom out on our person. This is our person. This is This is the me that I want to be okay That's uh, Body oh, you, oh, is this just is this literally just like a person making like a, a character creator? Do you have shoulders? Can have breasts. Uh, I guess you can see what that looks like from the side. Uh, you can have stomach. Yeah, let's be a. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Hips. You can have wide hips. Crotch. Uh, that's good enough, right? And then butt. <laughs> sure. There. Beautiful. Face. Eyes and brows. Wow, really? I hate... So, I hate this in, like, games like, uh, Fallout. You'll see my Fallout 4 playthrough. I, I just didn't have enough... I didn't have enough interest in, like, doing this. Sure, I'm just changing these a little bit. Brow shape. Uh, yeah, I actually kind of like that. Bro depth. Sure. We can make a really ugly person. Should we just try to make the ugliest person possible? I mean, I'm not making... I'm not intentionally just making kind of a more normal person here, just to see. Cheeks and nose. Jeez! All the options you're giving me here, Vlad. Yeah. This is a lot. I, I don't know. I'm not really here for this. This is different. This is so different than everything else we did, right? Like, we ran away from monsters and committed uh, flesh saving people and autopsies and, and, and investigate aliens. So now we're like, yeah, let's have the, the Pinocchio nose. Also, the really wide Pinocchio. Yeah, big nose. That's good. Bridge depth. No, we gotta, we gotta look at that. Yeah, no, way back. There you go. But wide. Dumb. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Jaws and lips. Jaws and lips and jaws and lips. How about jaw width? Yeah. Jaw depth. Jaw height. Oh my god, yes. Jaw shape. Uh, is this what the... I'm, I'm wondering where this is going to... Where this is going, because... I feel like... If it's got mutilation, it's got to be something weird beyond this. There's got to be something more beyond this, right? Is this just like where you're supposed to design your ideal person, and then that's what you... Get to see something awful happen to them, or whatever? Actually, you know, I want a really tiny mouth. Yeah, a little, little, really tiny mouth in this big face. 
Hair, okay. Hair length, hair length. Hair styles upon styles. No, definitely that one. Yeah. Brow styles upon styles, so these are just... There you go. Facial hair is good. Well, let's just look at it. Rock and stone, brother! Okay. Submit! Thank you for filling out your ideal self form. We know you can't choose the body you were born with. But you can decide to change it. You can, right? We're here at Make Beautiful, our honor you have chosen us to assist you with your transition. Okay, I had a choice. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. I played this game and this is all it let me do. The operating room is currently occupied. Please wait patiently. You will be called as soon as it becomes available. Alright then. Guess I'll take a nap. Oh my god, so this is like your person. So this is supposed to be like, kind of like a body horror thing about transition. They even used the word transitioning. So I was thinking this was kind of like what it would be like to be a... You know, like the horror of potential something potentially happening with your trans your transition from as a trans person. Gah Congratulations, Holly. Frick. The operating room has become available. You may now exit your room and head towards the light red lights. So I hope I don't have to watch this person being mutilated by like whatever's gonna happen to them. So this is really good animation. It's just like watching a, a video. This is what Vlad's really good at with like all the bitey stuff and that they do. And I really enjoy this. Wait, Bloody Vulpines presents Make Beautiful. So is this the actual game now? We just we had a character creator? And now we're playing so that wasn't the game, so there's actually more to it than this. Or is this just the credits? Monster design and models. Uh oh. Monster design. Is there gonna be like more of a game? Monster design? Holly, please take your place on the operating table. See if I. I mean, I guess in the future, if you could become your idealized self just magically. So I didn't take this too seriously. This is just kind of the character I make in a lot of things, in a lot of games, with just dumb facial features and stuff to be silly, but you appear tense. Do not worry, Holly. We have performed this surgery more times than you can count. If a computer talks to me like this, that's upsetting. All you need to do is relax, unless it's a person. A dose of Zydratol will help. Please hold still. So you get like an anesthetic. Just a pinch. Like hell that was. You should begin to feel yourself becoming heavy. Please remain on the table and count back from 10 with me. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four. Here comes all the needles and stuff. So this will be pretty awful if this is what I did in real life. Wait, I'm still awake. I can't speak. I can't move. Please. Patient vital spiking. Administering extra dose of Zydratol. Yeah, if this is what they really did, that is kind of horrific, but I don't know, man. Like, I'm kind of in that boat where if I could do just some kind of a magic procedure and suddenly be normal, 
or not be normal, but be the me I want to be, that would be really cool, man. That, that sounds like a thing that you could do, right? Or, like, for anybody, that would be, you know, if you could just change yourself. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, they, now there's a lot of blood. I'm definitely not the me I want to be. I, I'm definitely some kind of meat person now. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, wow, I'm like... I'm like that guy from Vaporwave. I gotta go to Minnesota and like chase somebody around a television station. Oh, look at you. Oh, now I'm in like Quake. Wait, what? Right. I should have picked left. Left is always right. Okay, left. Left is always right. It was actual gameplay! I wasn't paying attention, but then there was actual gameplay. Oh, and then you just die? You don't really have a- like, if I picked the wrong choice? Or am I swimming through the river of blood? This is kind of like an interactive movie. This is really cool. Make Beautiful is pretty cool. Are those my eyes leaving my body? Did I get dissolved in the blood? Do I... Is that it? Subject terminated. Patient failed to survive test chamber. Recommend replication. Explore facility. Replicate subject. So I can... Okay, so you can do this again. What happens if I do replicate subject? Okay. Okay, I get to do this over again. Okay, that's what I thought. Left. Left is right. I want to go left this time. You probably die no matter what you do. Uh, we'll go straight this time. These are probably all horrific deaths. Wait, do you do you always end up in the? Oh no, the thing just caught the Silent Hill monster just ate me this time. Oh, there's more than one. Nice. Why don't I just explore the facility? What does that let me do? That lets me free roam around, that's what I thought. This is really cool, Vlad! Am I allowed to call you that? I don't know. We've kind of been chatting through YouTube comments for a number of years now. This is really cool. I love it. This is a really well designed, yeah, this is, this one was fun. I knew it would be. And it wasn't as gross as I thought it might be. And it, it, it evokes a lot of thoughts about stuff, right? Like, I don't want to get too preachy about stuff. But this is something that, you know... I, I personally probably wouldn't do something like this if I knew that's what it was going to be. And especially not if they knew you were going to turn you into some kind of horrible meat person and then drown you in blood. Or feed you to weird dogs. But that's not the point. The point is, like, if you could, like... Okay, so if you choose to be a... Yeah, I, I think you get... Yeah, look at these fantastic meat people. So there's the blue room. This probably dies somehow in here, in the orange room. Yeah, I think if I knew that's what it was about, I probably wouldn't be that interested in it, but the idea of being able to instantly change yourself into a better version of yourself. Okay, that... I, I thought that looked vaguely phallic before, and now it, I see it, it really does look like it's a phallus. That is something. Yeah. They're not just weird. Oh, they're. Oh! They are intentionally sexually char characterized. Oh, they're like. Gen yeah, they are. Wow, that's. Yeah, this is definitely a game all about the horrors of being trans. So happy Pride Month on top of, you know, being Summerween. This is a perfect game to be playing right now. Um, hope that you have enjoyed this Summerween with me. I had a hell of a time playing through the Forgotten Tapes, or, uh, yeah, Forgotten Tapes Twisted Forms. 
It was spooky, it was weird, there were some dumb games, there were some games I really liked. And, uh, you know, this was a good buy. Check this out on Steam, it's only 10 bucks. There's some great content by some great creators, and I have a feeling that they're going to be expanding it more, because they did add the, the Fallen Spirits was added, like, months after the final product was already created, so they might even add more to this. It's a really cool thing, and we'll see you in whatever we do next.